Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna discuss about the types of what is precipitation and what are its types. So let's get started. So what is precipitation? Precipitation is any form of liquid or solid water particles that fall from the atmosphere and reach the surface of the earth. So precipitation liquid form may be like rainfall or solid may be for example snowfall. So it may be in the form of snowfall, sleet, hail, rain and drizzle. So what are the necessary conditions for precipitation? What do you think? So the first condition should be evaporation. So air ascends and after ascending of air, cooling of air takes place in the atmosphere. And condensation takes place. You also see the formation of clouds in the atmosphere and in the clouds moisture is accumulated so after the accumulation of moisture what happened is the growth of cloud droplets increases to a significant size and rainfall starts falling or the precipitation starts taking place so this is what is the necessary necessary conditions for precipitation so what are the forms of precipitation let's see so the first form is sleet it refers to a mixture of snow snow and rain so it is transparent spheres of frozen water its diameter is what greater than 5 mm it means what its size is greater than 5 mm so sleet develop first as raindrops in relatively warm atmosphere whose temperature is greater than freezing point so the raindrops descend into a colder layer of the atmosphere whose temperature is less than 0 degree celsius causing the freezing into ice pellets where reaching the ground surface so like the freezing rain to form the sleet the condition of temperature inversion is required so i already i've already discussed about the concept of temperature inversion in my video in one of my previous video just check the link in the description or I'll also provide um, you you also find the video in my playlist right so aapko upar vye aise mil jayega ek link so yaha par aap check kar sakte hai so the next form is snow so what is snowfall or what is snow the fall of large snowflakes so snowflake matlab what do you mean by slow flake so ye jo idhar hai ye aap snowflake keh sakte ye this is this is what snowflakes called so the fall of large snowflakes from the clouds on the ground surface is called snowfall it is commonly found where it is found in the mid latitude or high latitudes region in the hilly areas yes in the temperate regions where the temperature is cold so it develops when water vapor deposits itself directly to a six sided hexagon deposition nuclei as a solid crystal 
where the temperature is below freezing point. So the snowfall occurs when the freezing level is so close to the ground level. Yes. And these are like the ice crystals reach the ground without being melted as a solid. You can see here it is snow. It is sleet. Right. Here you get the idea of what is sleet and what is snow. So the next third point it is here you see it is sleet. It is snow. Right. So number third number three is hail. So what is hail? It is a fall it is a form of solid precipitation or you can say it is a frozen form of precipitation wherein small balls or pieces of ice here you see it is small balls it is small balls right known as hailstones so dime its diameter is 5 to 50 mil mm so they are the concentric shales it is like the concentric shales some concentric shales of ice with alternating white cloudy appearance and those that are clear it develops when liquid water freezes onto the hailstone right so what do you think hails are harmful there are they destructive yes hailstones are destructive and dreaded form of solid precipitation because they destroy agricultural crops and they affect human and animal lives to, to some extent they also affect right so move on to the next form like drizzle so drizzle means what the fall of numerous uniform minute droplets of water having diameter of less than 0.5 mm is called drizzle so dr you can say drizzle is a form of rain so liquid deposits falling from the atmosphere on the surface with a diameter which is greater than 0.5 mm is called rain it means if the diameter is greater than 0.5 mm it is called rain and if the diameter is less than 0.5 mm it is called drizzle so the maximum size of rain is 5 to 7 mm and the beyond this size intermolecular cohesive forces become too weak to be held in the mass of water together as a single drop so in the next video we we will discuss the concept of rain in more details right so if you find this video useful then please like the video and subscribe it for more updates and try to share it to help others because sharing is caring right yeah so keep growing, keep hustling.